Is this? No, it, it changed. Look at, look at that <laughs> smile on his face. This is what American cars do to people. For all you Toyota people. <laughs> Pretty fun. <laughs> so here it is. We've got the LS3. Definitely need to change this over to a cold air induction one. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought about. <laughs> we, we actually changed one on Martin's friend's car. And there were so many gaps with the K&N one. Like, these filters get dirty so fast. Yep. But, uh, yeah, definitely the mod list is going to start. It's starting. It's starting. <laughs> I think first mod, they plasti dip these wheels. And these are actually not a bad wheel. It's just, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the way that looks. And I don't think Martin likes it either. Yeah, so plasti dip, the matte black, it's so dirty. Yeah. It starts peeling off. I think we're going to take the pressure washer to those, see if we can get that garbage off there. You can see it's starting to come off here already. Get this thing all sorted out. What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammered Out Motorsports. Today, well, we're walking down to the shop. We got Martin's Camaro. We're gonna be putting that on the lift, kind of checking it out, kind of getting an idea of what he has bought, being that it is a used vehicle, and we're gonna go have some fun with my sixth gen. I'm gonna get a chance to drive his car, and yeah, it's gonna be a good day. So we have his wheels off and we started peeling these. You can see the wheels underneath are actually a whole lot nicer. So I think we're gonna take these up to the house, hit them with a pressure washer, get all this garbage off of here. And then we're gonna test fit my original six gen wheels in this car that have the red stripe and they're gloss black. I think they're gonna look pretty nice on here. We'll let you guys be the judge. Damn. All right, so we got most of the Plasti Dip off, just a couple little spots to touch up yet. But this is the stock silver SS wheel from 2013. Now, what we did is we went over into my shop and I had my original wheels up there. And this is what my Camaro came with from the factory. These are the red line wheels. I absolutely love these when I got the car. The only reason I changed them is because I went to a ZL1 spec wheel. So now I have wider rear and front tires just so I could get that little bit extra traction with the Vortec blower. So now what we're gonna see is what the fifth gen looks like with these wheels on it. And there it is. And I think that looks so nice on this car compared to that silver. But definitely drop in the comments. What do you guys think? The sixth gen red line wheels or let's go check out what the silver wheel looks like and kind of see what the original look of this car is. And we have that right there, which it doesn't look bad, but it's very stock. And I think just to adding that six gen flare really makes this car pop, especially with the black. What do you think, Martin? It's awesome so far. And so we were thinking too, because I had these laying around as well, and they're pretty much, I think they're exactly the same color. And Martin put these on, and I think both of us decide that having it this close to the door just kind of was off. Doesn't look right. And we want to put something more in the center. So I'm thinking we're going to put the red SS's in the center. Kind of like the 6th gen has. We have the Camaro symbol on that fender. So to put the SS in the middle and kind of a more sinister red and black whole theme going on here. We also cleaned up the calipers because whoever plasti dipped those wheels, they just sprayed them right on the car. So don't do that because then this gets all full plasti dip and it just looked terrible. But once we get this thing on the ground, get it outside, this thing's gonna look absolutely awesome.
go. Fifth gen nation. <laughs> Can't beat that. Can't beat no. that. <laughs> this is what I was missing in my life. <laughs> exactly. See, this is this is what America's all about. Yeah. Crackles and pops, shifting gears, go ripping through the country roads. It doesn't get any better than that. I'd like to drive a Challenger. I've never driven like a Hellcat yet, but it doesn't matter. Challenger, Must, Mustang even, like an S550, they're all a good time. Anything with a V8 that you can go cruise through the back roads with, that's America right there. We're gonna get Barton's reaction in the 6th gen versus this with the power difference and just with the blower and we're gonna have him go into the parts store to buy a few little go fast goodies for this thing. And if you can drive a manual on Crocs, you can drive anything. <laughs> take the 6th gen for a rip what are your initial thoughts uh, sitting in it it feels pretty Camaro ish but uh, I know the power is going to be way different power delivery I have a 1 LE shifter in it so it's a little bit it's like 15% shorter than the regular SS which really isn't a big difference if you get a Hurst they're a super tight shifter but uh, yeah it's one of those differences this is a little bit easier to drive though, I feel like. The clutch yeah. at least. I like it. Wow. Yeah, just <laughs> trying to get used to the clutch crack point. Yeah, it's a little little different. It's pretty definitely. sweet. Pretty sweet. Definitely more torque in first gear than my car. <laughs> yeah, you get that little bit of boost thrown at it. Definitely changes things up a little bit. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Oh, and it, it keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. Like, it doesn't stop. That's just insane, yeah. Wow. Especially at higher speeds. Like no, you yeah. feel that, you know, sometimes cars, like, once you get up to a certain speed, you don't really feel like they have that horsepower anymore. But this thing, it definitely gets it. There's a uh, GT350 owner that found that out when we were in Mexico once. <laughs> For 40 grand, you can't go wrong! All right, everybody, we had an awesome time taking the sixth gen out and the fifth gen. Definitely some differences between these two cars, but I think if Martin put in a few more go fast toys on that car, it would definitely be keeping up with this one as well. There's just the interior changes and whatever you prefer. Depends on what your budget is, depending on whether you like the retro styling of kind of the stuff that they went for with the fifth gen, or if you want the more modern styling with the modern technology in the sixth gen, is basically your preference, but both are absolutely awesome cars. 
and I think we've got his looking really nice with the new wheels, the new badges, and definitely check out his channel for the future mods that he's gonna be doing on this car. It's gonna be absolutely awesome, and we are gonna be doing some more stuff to this eventually, but gotta let the dust settle with uh, kind of the other things that we're doing here, kind of in the recent times. Yeah, there's there's been a few purchases made, so. All in all, a cam is going to come in the future and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Give this thing some chop. But for now, it's just definitely a fun car to run. And we're going to go run it at the track here next weekend over at the Run What You Brung event at Cecil County Dragway, August 23rd. Definitely, you guys are in the area. Come check it out. Come say hi to us at the trailer. It's going to be an awesome time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.